this is the last video of what happened in the weekend so this is what happened and what we learned between arsenal and chelsea it's time for the bridge so this week super sunday was one of the best weeks that we've had we had some of the best teams come to match up and try to show what they can offer us in the game and uh, we were really impressed i don't want to lie to you we were really impressed by the performance of what we saw in terms of the the playing teams uh liverpool versus Tottenham to spurs it was really of an open game which just kept everyone intrigued and watching the tv and enjoying what was happening if you're watching it on television like i was the arsenal versus chelsea game now you know for a chelsea fan you'll be worried the arsenal fan not really that much but if you're a rival you'll be excited you know why because we just wanted to see a good game we were not interested in who wins whatever that happens we just wanted to see a good game and i have to say in terms of assessing the game really really tactically assessing the game you will see that you know what people were expecting for that's exactly what happened people were excited over the game and they enjoyed what they were watching in the game um some takeouts from the game by the way i think this is very very important to cover some takeouts the things that we can take out of the game and what really was amazing was the fighting spirit of arsenal this season is just out of this world somehow i feel like because Mikel ateta understands how much it takes to fight in winning a game with one point like he has been doing with pep guardiola as his assistant and the way the team is so joined and they have developed the spirit in with them makes them a threat to manchester city even a stronger threat than Liverpool where I'm not saying that they're playing at the level of what Liverpool are doing but I'm saying that it's the threat because there's this belief this fighting spirit that we see from us now that I have to say we haven't seen in a while or in a long time and I'm really 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 impressed by that because that just tells you that there's more to come in this football game there's more that we can see from these teams and you, you just fall in love with the game that's all I can say you just fell in love with the game and it's exciting to see that when you think that they're out and done and there's nothing that is coming they just surprise you this is the interesting part I wanna I don't wanna lie to you I was surprised with the, how much how much they kept being in control of the game even though they did not look like they were there chelsea they're dealing with a lot they're dealing with a lot the reason why i'm saying they're dealing with a lot is this i don't think even graham potter knows really really what is wrong with chelsea i don't think he knows and because he doesn't know is being tempted to change the playing style the movement of the ball the tactics the which you know has made him a, a a remarkable coach at brighton and is trying to put them into these guys but the problem is this chelsea has players that has won the champions league for example ego range they're on another level and for a manager to make this team work it's gonna take so much it's really gonna demand so much and i wonder does this mean that these guys will actually make it or will be surprised and be told that oh the another manager has been sucked at chelsea because because uh, they they feel like they are trying but they are not doing enough if you understand what i mean they feel like they're trying to do something but just not doing enough and for me that has to be a worrisome if you are a chelsea fan watching from the outside out of your team you need to put something into the team that trying and just not doing enough you need to put something meaningful at least give something a team something to believe the fans something to believe there is no energy in this chelsea team there is just no energy and i feel like as a football player rather than anything you should never be questioned for the energy and the tenacity you put into the game and i feel like even tactically it feels like there's still something that is missing and they cannot connect so well with the grand potter because what they were being taught by and the, you know thomas Tuchel was about defense and just being a defending team and now what they're learning under Tuchel is something way way much different and because of the difference of this it's causing them to make a lot of mistakes it's causing them to not really perform at the level where you want to see them perform and i end up worrying to see exactly where are this team going in terms of tactically you know 
Um, I felt like it was also the same as the Brighton game as much as they tried Thiago Silva a 30 I think it's 37 or 38 year old man being the best player for Chelsea in a team full of youngsters then that is to worry you if a 37 year old is actually the best player in your team when we have 19 year olds when we have 24 years old a 37 year old being the best player in the team that is to worry you i don't care who you are i don't care which part of the world you are if the 37 year old is the best player in the team you need to be worried because you don't expect that to see something like that from a team as big as chelsea they are not fighting. Aubameyang, he had eight chances in the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can count the amount of chances that men had in a 67, 80 minutes game that they played. I can count them with my fingers. Like with my fingers, I can go, I can go like one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. And this is it. With my five fingers, I can count how many without even having a problem. And if you are Aubameyang, going back to your team and you're busy calling it on social media and everything you were saying, nothing personal, like you're going to do something, you need to be worried, man. I don't know, was it that he was lacking delivery from the Chelsea players or what? Because the midfield was dead. Ruben Loftus cheek, as much as he was controlling defensively, he was offering nothing, creating going forward. Georgino being that playmaker, the passes, what was he doing? I felt like that go that game was seeking for coverage. But the Graham Potter is dealing with so much a lot right now that he doesn't even notice when he has some best players in him. Maybe, of course, injuries play their part, but huh, not really convincing. In terms of Arsenal, I know they won the game, but they were really not really convincing as well, to be honest. They were really not in that convincing situation. And I, I notice things and I say things and I really analyze things as I can and show you where I see that there might be some problems. And I felt like they were really not doing enough and maybe as much as they did what they did you know it left them just there that's all i can say it left them that just there and now the question is this where do they go from now but they won the game they're still top of the league they're still putting so much pressure where do they go from there saka is fit Martinelli's feet and they've also been called for the World Cup. They just need to win their last game and they finish and pass Christmas and top of the league. And maybe they might actually win it. It's all about how Ateta build them up after they're back from the World Cup. So the players who are going and the remaining one, how he's going to maintain that tenacity, that anger to keep wanting to fight. I don't know. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Like, what did you think about Arsenal versus Chelsea? Was it really that eat of a game or it was just that? And uh, exactly what happened if what's going to happen with Porter? Is he going to be sacked? Or maybe just he is going to let go of other players who are not really willing to fight for the team. Let me know in the comment section. Click the like button. Subscribe to the connect. Watch here. I was talking about the Carabao Cup and how much of a disturbance it's happening with the teams. And click here for my big match preview and reviews. We'll see you on another video. Maybe even after the World Cup. I'm not really sure. I'll keep you updated with that, people. Just keep expecting an announcement that is coming soon. I'm out. Peace. Be blessed.